This is a Mustard C53S uh, long curved nymph terrestrial hook. This is a, uh, a hatching mayfly pattern that I've used for many years and it works an absolute treat. Uh, in most cases better than uh, the adult done patterns. So we attach the tying thread and run down deep into the hook shank. We want a good long nymph body here. So we'll just remove that. Then we need some pheasant tail. Uh, three strands. These should be about the little shorter than the body length of the hook. We'll just tack these in. There. Perfect. And just run this along to where you're going to start the thorax about there. You can just trim those off now. Good. Then we need another bunch of pheasant tail fibres. And just attach those on top of the hook shank. Lift the fibres with each turn so you keep them on top of the hook shank. This is going to be, uh, this is going to run along the top of the body of the the abdomen of the nymph. So we go down deep into there like that. That's perfect. Then we need a length of medium silver wire and we just tack this in again right at the base of the tail. Don't want to Tie that tail down, there we go. And we, we're using a medium wire here because we want the back, the rear end, the abdomen of the uh, nymph to sink. So, and just do that. Then we go back down into the base of the tail again, like so and we need some dubbing. So this is Fly Runit 34. I uh, can't remember the name of the culling of the dubbing offhand but it's number 34 in Fly right? So we just attach this, begin thinly. Like so, then we can looking good. And all the way up to a, you know, the carrot shaped abdomen that we need. Let's give that another spin. Fly right needs attention all the time. It's a nice dubbing, but it does need attention as you're winding it. Like so. Finish off there. Then we take the, make sure it's on the other side of the tying thread. Make sure that these are flat, the pheasant tail for the back of the abdomen. There we go. And just tie that down loosely so you can still adjust it so it's along the back. And then your rib, once around right at the tail base, and then up in nice even turns, getting a bit wider as you get to the top. There you go, and then we can. Tie this off. There we go. 
and remove that. So let's have a look at these tails. Very good. Then what we need is some of this. This I picked up uh, at a tax-free shop, duty-free shop at the airport. It's a uh, protection for tax-free bottles and it's absolutely fabulous stuff. What you need to do is cut one of these little V's out just like that and then I take a lighter and I just Uh, weld the ends of them. This is plastic, it's not like the foam, it's plastic and it's full of air bubbles and it makes the most fantastic wing buds. So we now place this on top and we just tie this in like this. And you see how that's going? It really does work a treat. Then we need a bit more dubbing. Okay, here we are. It's the same dubbing again. So, I want this quite, not as tight as the body dubbing. We want it quite loose. So just bring that up again and catch it in first behind the wing woods. And then we can spin it. Okay, and we go up right, like this. Just tighten that up now. looking great there we are perfect then we need two small bunches of pheasant tail again now we tie one in across the hook shank that way like that so look here a little too many there and one bunch across the hook shank. Oi, that went the wrong way. That way. That's good. Then we can pull the legs in. We've not tied them in that tight to the length we want. Pull those over again. Tie them loosely in. Always one. There we go. And we can remove these. Make the head. Tie that off. Give it another one. Move the tying thread. And then we take the legs and bend them. And that is the finished hatching mayfly lymph that will float all day long and these wing buds are an absolute uh, brilliant representation of what actually goes on. You've got to give this a go.